Dear colleagues, it's my pleasure to briefly comment on our paper entitled Adipose Tissue and Liver Expression of Sirtuin 1, 3 and 6 Increase After Extensive Weight Loss in Morbid Obesity, which appears in the December issue of Journal of Hepatology. Sirtuins are a family of highly conserved enzymes which have been discovered a decade ago. They affect different metabolic pathways, thereby potentially increasing lifespan and improving health, at least in yeast and nematodes. A recent report observed for the first time that overexpression of SIRT6 can indeed extend lifespan in Mammals. This paper appeared in Nature 2012. Sirtuins have been demonstrated via acetylation to regulate several metabolic, but more importantly also inflammatory pathways. We have performed a human study where we collected not only liver biopsies, but also adipose tissue biopsies before bariatric surgery. All those patients underwent gastric banding surgery. After six months of extensive weight loss, we performed a controlled liver biopsy and we also took a biopsy from the subcutaneous adipose tissue. So in this human study we were able to compare expression of certain molecules before surgery and after six months and we could study not only the expression in the adipose tissue but also in the liver. In previous reports we have demonstrated that especially in the subcutaneous tissue Pro-inflammatory cytokines are highly expressed and after six months, for example, the expression of IL-6 almost disappears. We have also demonstrated in previous reports that, for example, interleukin-1-beta is highly expressed in the adipose tissue and expression is almost 10,000 times higher in the adipose tissue compared to its liver expression. So in this report here, we studied the expression of various sirtuins, sirt1, 3 and 6, in those patients. We observed that the liver expression increases after extensive weight loss at RNA level, especially sirtuin 3 and 6. And when we performed immunohistochemical analysis, we found that SIRT1 and 3 levels go up after weight loss significantly, clearly demonstrating that extensive weight loss affects liver expression of sirtuins. When we studied sirtuin expression in the adipose tissue, changes were even more impressive. All three investigated sirtuins went up after six months significantly, telling us that extensive weight loss affects sirtuin expression in the adipose tissue. We then assessed steady state levels of subcutaneous and hepatic SIRT1, 3 and 6 and correlated their expression with various anthropomorphic, metabolic, hepatic and inflammatory markers. And we could clearly demonstrate a negative correlation between sirtuin expression and BMI, ALD levels and HOMA index. Next we were interested whether Potentially, pro-inflammatory signals are able to control expression of various sirtuins. 
And we could show that pro-inflammatory stimuli such as endotoxin or TNF-alpha were indeed able to suppress SIRT1, 3 and 6 expression, but only in CD14 positive monocytes, but not in hepatocytes. So to, to, to conclude from our studies, first adipose tissue expression of certain sirtuins exceeds its expression in the liver. So the adipose tissue is a major source of sirtuins in case of morbid obesity. Extensive weight loss increases silt expression, especially in adipose tissue but also in the liver. And this is probably as a consequence of reduced inflammation. Therefore, sirtuins may play an important role in fatty liver diseases and especially in hepatic steatosis observed in morbid obesity. Such a connection has also been demonstrated recently by other groups and we believe this is an exciting topic, so please remain interested. Thank you for listening.